Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna to head to one of the world's Hello. oldest covered markets. So this place called the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul, Turkey. I think they have over 4,000 stalls and up to half a million people they visit, but we're gonna add one to that number. I'm gonna go, so let's check it out. But before that, guys, we have got an uphill walk. It's only about 10 minutes, but uphill. I haven't been here for years. Sorry, I'm out of breath. It's, it's really uphill. And I remember it being quite uh, grand, pardon the pun. So uh, let's check it out. I'll show you around and we'll get some food as well. I think it's just down here and then on the right. It's getting busier, so I think we're getting closer. From memory, I do think we're close because I remember there's an entrance on the side, but the kind of entrance is all round, if I remember correctly. Yes, so there is an entrance there. It's straight ahead if I can maneuver my way past. It's just down there. Good thing it's covered, it's just by two rain. Wow, massive. Okay, there are like a main street and then there are like side streets. So you could probably spend some time in here, you know, like main street, okay. Then all the little side streets, okay. And uh, my job is gonna be to find the good food. I think I've come to the jewelry bit where uh, I can see lots of gold, lots of shiny stuff. The key is like finding what you want in here because there's so much around. You really need to hunt. I'd say spend two to three hours here, guys, minimum, and make sure you make sure to remember you can haggle as well. Don't be disrespectful, but at the same time, you can haggle. So I found a slightly quieter section. Um, but as you can see, it's getting busy up there, but a slightly quieter section. And when it comes to haggling, I always start around half. Depends on the country I go to in Turkey, I find half to 40% is a good amount. That is where we're going. Now here is one of the better restaurants in here as well. Unfortunately, they actually close. They close, uh, to be fair, they close at five and it's 4.56. I did check my time, so they're closing at an accurate time. But that's okay, guys. There's a place that I've seen just outside the bazaar, like literally directly outside. So we're gonna try there. There are loads of places like just outside the market. We're talking meters, guys, not far at all. Because I think it's quite hard for restaurants to get space in here because it's like so packed already, you know. But there is another place down here that I think I've been to years ago that I want to kind of relive the memories, see if it's as good as I remember. I'm not totally sure how I'm going to fill my bag just yet, but it's nice to see like fully halal sweets, you know. So uh, I think it's going to be the fizzy ones for me, I think, but we'll see. Okay, so I've got one of these bad boys. Let's get some sweets. So guys, I've mainly gone for the fizzy ones. Let's see how much this totals up for. 90. 90 lira? No problem. Honestly, great day already because I've got my sweets and there's quite a lot there as well actually. I think that was, I think that works out at like, I'm not sure, like four pounds? I think that's okay, especially because it's always gonna be a bit more expensive here. So this is the place I wanna try. I came here about three, four years ago with my family. This is the first time I've come on my own. And I managed to get a seat and there's only like one, three tables. What I've gone for is basically a donut plate uh, with rice and got onions and chips. And they're just like a, like a diet coke. But I'm looking forward to this. This is my first kebab in Istanbul, in Turkey for years. Well, I've got like dessert ready. So I have my drinks, I've got my coke, which is like the pleasure part. And then I've got my water, which is like medicine. And I'm gonna probably get Hafiz Mustafa for dessert, like proper dessert, not the sweets. The sweets are for the hotel. It's one of the most famous dessert places in Turkey, if not Europe, right? So I feel like I've got to do a review to see if it lives up to the hype. Okay, so here we go. This is the donut, which by the way, looks fantastic. We've got some bread, we've got a handful of chips there, and it's on a bed of rice. They don't actually do like chili or garlic, but they do have ketchup and mayonnaise. I am so up for this, you would not believe. Let's try the donna first with a little bit of rice. Oh. Thick cup. It's quite juicy. Well made. I love the rice. I always love Turkish rice. It has a good amount of salt to it. 
It's a little bit of a small plate, but it doesn't cost that much. Yes, this is eight quid, but it's 160 grams of meat. It's gonna fill you up, guys. And it's in the bazaar. It's proper touristy here, so obviously it's gonna cost you guys like a little bit more, but if you're here, this is a good option. I wanna eat this and then get some more food. You can even make yourself a little sandwich, a little kebab of your own. Let's munch and then move on. Do you know what, that was lovely. That was actually really, really nice. And I uh, got myself a bottle of water to go. I think I'm gonna go around the corner to find some more food though. Cause that's just warmed up the belly. There's still plenty of room. Next spot is here. So really nice in it. I already know I'm getting Turkish coffee. Whenever I go to a country, I always get something that they're known for, coffee wise. And then maybe, do you know what? Maybe some Barek. I love a good Barek. So I think I may get that. I might not get anything sweet from here. I might get that somewhere else. Ordered my coffee, ordered my barek. I've got my sweets, I'm very tempted, right? But I always think it's rude to eat food from other establishments in this one. Loads of people do that. And different countries have different levels of, you know, varying levels of offensive, like whether they get offended by it. Some restaurants are okay, some are not. I always find it offensive. So I'm gonna like not have these, but I want to try these. But anyway, we've got ourselves a coffee and a barek. Okay, so my Turkish coffee with medium sugar, one little bit of Turkish delight and some water has come out. I'm expecting this to be very strong. Turkish coffee normally is. Oh, no, not yet. It's way too hot. I'm gonna wait for it to cool down. But I will try this. Oh. I usually hate Turkish delight in the UK, but I love it when it comes to Turkey. The nuts in there, that's lovely. And here are my barek. I think these ones were cheese and parsley, if I remember correctly. But a lovely little snack. Crispy, quite light. The cheese is nice, not too strong. Parsley comes through. These are just a lovely little snack. I love that they taste oily, they taste fried, but not too oily, not too heavy. And then let's try the actual coffee. Oh, that's strong. Turkish coffee is very strong. They ask if you are sugar, um, small, medium or large, meaning how much sugar. I always go for medium. I think most people could probably do with maybe large. Sweeten up a little bit. Time to munch this and then move on. But this is such a lovely little spot. If you are going to be shopping, you'll be busy all day. It actually feels relatively quiet in here. It's air -conned. It feels really nice and comfortable. Good place to stop. And I think it's the most popular coffee house in here. So we are going to move on to our next place. But here are some of the shots of uh, all the other food they have. They've got a good amount. And they also have like proper food, like actual main dishes and things like that. I just didn't want that. I wanted a quick little pit stop, to be honest. And now I'm just going to explore. You know, I think this is a good place to get like, you know, like genuine face, like genuine ones. I used to come to places like this, I still do, and I get all my gym stuff. So all my Nike, Adidas, Reebok, they all cost two pounds. They all cost two pounds. They're from places like this. Um, I don't really spend much money on clothing. I spend on travel and food. Like honestly, don't be fooled. Everything is, is fake, but it's good. Some of it's, it's good. You just have to hunt it out, you know? And if you're paying, say, a few quid, you can't really complain too much, can you really? A lot of the times things are relative to price, you know? I've literally had t-shirts on here for like two pounds. And they've lasted me like a year in the gym. There's bags, there's shoes, the jewelry and all that kind of stuff is largely real, but get that checked too. Um, but there's so much here. I've somehow found an exit. Okay. But now we're in the outside bit of the market. There's still loads of stalls here. I think what I might do now is head to Hafiz Mustafa. I think I may actually save my belly room, get lots of back cover and stuff like that, like milk cake from there. Maybe another coffee. Maybe. I think I might do that. Even just sort of directly outside the market, there's so much going on. There's stalls everywhere, shops where people are selling stuff, food, street food. There's so much going on. I'm okay, my brother. Thank you. I appreciate that. There's so much going on. You could just spend your time around here. You can make a day of it, to be honest. I would suggest coming about four-ish uh, because 
I'm here, it's like just gone six. A lot of places are closing, restaurants, um, like a lot of vendors inside, like shops and stores and whatnot are closing. I'd say get here for about four-ish, or even just before, but late is by four, and I think it'll be set. I think I'm gonna save myself a Hafiz Mustafa, so please do subscribe if you wanna see that review. I do have a few reviews coming for Istanbul, so if you wanna see more, make sure you subscribe. I've got a ton of international content, a ton of UK content, so like, share, subscribe. That really, really helps the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Ba 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 ba